Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Imagine we have a button and an output area. And if I click on a button, it starts crunching something and then shows all these little messages computing the answer until it shows the answer 42, of course. How would you confirm that this is happening? Well, clicking on a button is easy. We'll find a button that includes text start and we'll click on it. What about checking the output and making sure that it shows 42? Well, also is easy. We'll say contains output and text 42. Cypress retries querying commands like sci contains, retries, retries until it either times out after four seconds by default or shows 42. Again, it keeps retrying, 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 and after almost four seconds, shows 42. You can rewrite this sci contains to have an explicit assertion. You can say get me the element with id contains and it should have text and then the text 42. It works the same way you getting the element and retrying the assertion should have text 42 attached to it. And when assertion fails at first, it goes back and queries again and again and again. Okay. Now it's kind of nice. Right, you can even make this assertion into a callback. Okay, it would look something like this. You can pass a function that will get a jQuery object from site get command, and you can write expect element to have text 42. And it works the same way. Okay, now why would you use a callback? Well, Imagine you're trying to confirm something inside or intermediate values, right? I can see that it has thinking, right? So how, why would, how would you confirm that when you click start, it shows thinking and then shows 42? Well, you can do something contains output thinking, okay? So it will retry until it is thinking and then it will retry until it shows 42. So that's okay. But what would you do if I ask you to confirm all the values that it shows until it shows 42. For example, how would you confirm if I ask you there are at least five different messages? Well, somehow you need to accumulate the messages because you no longer know what to expect. And this is where the callback that's executed every time it retries is so useful. So this callback is executing multiple times per second. For example, we can console log element text, okay? And notice it keeps retrying and calling it multiple times per second. And the cool thing that you're getting the element at each step. That means you can accumulate all these values. So let's grab this text and let's create, uh, let's say messages, a new set, and we can say messages add text and we expect, let's say, if we have this text to equal. Okay, we can use any type of assertion, but in this case, we're accumulating all these values. Ooh, and the only thing we need now is to somehow confirm what we have inside the messages. Now, the reference to the set is constant, right? So we can just wrap it. And then how do we convert a set into array. Well, you can call array from. So by wrapping messages, it becomes a subject. Set so then calls this function with a subject. So it's equivalent to array from and then messages is the argument. So we get an array and we can say should have length, let's say greater or equal to five. Okay. So all these operations will execute after everything has finished. So our set is full of values. And so now there should be at least five of them. Let's see if it works. Okay. And we can see all our string values right here. And so there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, because the sixth one is the final answer. All right. So this is one of the cool, I would say, 
tricks that Cypress should call back with a function can do. It can accumulate all the values that it sees so that you can later run some additional assertions on that. So find this example at getbachmotov.com slash cypress examples. I will link it in the description of this video.